and we're here on Cloud Kingdom. FXO Tier is our red Protoss up in the top right of the map. He is already tied, actually, with uh, TSL Hyun. He's gotten to the same point as Squirtle, basically. Three wins already against Hyun. <laughs> and Hyun is the blue Zerg down in the bottom left. I think it's important to note that it was also all tied up between Squirtle and Hyun going into the map. Oh, wow, Cloud that's, Kingdom, that's a good point. when Hyun made a red ridiculous comeback and was able to uh, turn just an enormous engagement around and uh, secure the game. So uh, Hyun certainly has precedent on this map, past success, and we'll see if he's able to keep that going or if uh, Tyr can uh, run things from here on out. That's right. Tyr actually picked this map, right? Because he just lost. Yes. Yeah, yes so so uh, maybe he didn't watch. You know, if, <laughs> if I was going to be playing Hyun in a best of nine pvz i would probably watch those games between hyun and squirtle i would imagine uh, he did so he might have just said nah i'm not gonna <laughs> learn anything i've played pvz before learning yeah learning That's silly learning is for the uneducated yes and tier is obviously very well educated because he's has no learning <laughs> at all <laughs> he just doesn't learn because he's so well educated that makes sense that's not a logical fallacy or conundrum at all clearly yep uh 15 spawning pool a little bit later than what uh, hyun has been doing lately he had been favoring 14 pools uh, pretty much the entire game but uh tier on the other hand has already saved up quite a few resources looking like he may decide to slap down a uh, 16 or 17 nexus right away um, he could very well do something like a 17 forge if he's feeling a little bit riskier, but um, I, I, or I mean, if, if he feels like he's under a little bit more pressure, but it looks like he's just going to save up for a 17 Nexus. All right, switching it up a little bit. Usually does drop that forge first, but we'll see what he's got in mind as the game unfolds. He is uh, actually giving up on blocking. I don't know if he realized he walked out of range there, but uh, Hyun does manage to drop the hatchery without too much delay. And he's going to get in here, see no, you know, nothing nothing weird at all, actually. Yeah, he's got a pretty good idea of what his opponent is up to. And, of course, Tian hasn't really shown us anything different than what he's done in the past. On this map, he has liked to uh, road rush every once in a while. He'll throw down a quick, uh, quick gas and uh, decide to put on some pressure that way. Doesn't look like he's intending to do that quite yet. And uh, so far for Tier, everything's looking pretty normal. He'll be able to defend the first couple of Lings out. I've noticed that Hyun really likes underproducing Lings at the beginning, just needs a bare minimum right. for map control and cleaning things up. A lot of people will produce four Lings instead of two, but he wants that extra drone right at the beginning and is not afraid to produce large rounds of speed Lings later on if the situation calls for it. That's right. We've seen on Ohana, he once he gets a comfortable number of drones, he'll make a ton of Lings and try to try to attack. But on Antigua Shipyard, he produced... Uh, actually, no, it wasn't even Antigua. It was Entombed valley where he made something like eight lings and it uh -huh. ended up screwing up tier so much uh because you know he is known uh to not make very many lings at the start and just drone 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 so uh Hyun actually that's that's kind of a kind of an advantage i mean you build up a reputation for playing a certain way there's always that option of switching gears and catching your opponent off guard and it worked out for him on entombed valley but here on cloud kingdom he is going to return to his normal ways and uh just just uh drone like crazy that's right so uh third base is down and uh, about 60 70 percent of the way finished up while his natural did just end up uh finishing up so everything's looking pretty normal from him did you see and, that uh, probe that probe is still in his main. <laughs> Ooh, hello, probe. Oh, Looks he's like going to get discovered. It's uh, it's going to be close if not. Nah, he will. Lord, yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, and, the, and the queen is just going to actually can just walk over and attack it. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would be really silly if the queen was like, oh, he's up there. I'll have to walk around and slap him. <laughs> um, Should still walk around and slap him, though. It's they used, method they for used to have drones. to slap. Yeah. Yeah, but now they can shoot. That's right. <laughs> It's missiles for everyone now. Yay, missiles. Uh, or missiles. Ooh. Fires the missiles. Queens. Ooh. But I'm really tired. Uh, so I take a nap. And then fires the missiles. Ah, yes. The days of yore on the internet. Good old Boyd. albino black sheep and, oh, man. and new grounds and Jeez. Uh, e bombs world. Yep. <laughs> You're hitting all the favorites those, there. Those so. are such weird. It's weird to even. They were weird then. It's weird to think about now, though, all those weird flash videos and games and. All exactly. that stuff. That was what people did, man. That was <laughs> E-Bombs World images and, and flash videos. That's all people. That was the internet. About. Now yeah. it's just r slash funny. That's that's pretty much it. So <laughs> that's that's my daily dose of humor. I don't even so. visit that one. Picks and gaming usually yeah. are, are mine. Yep. Well, of course, StarCraft and League of Legends as well. But well, StarCraft's like my homepage. Yeah, exactly. r slash StarCraft. But anyway. that goes without saying. Um, Hyun. 
His, uh, I mean, even his timings of when he's been putting up his various different structures have been very consistent. He's varied between um, 41 and 45 drones pretty much the entire time. It's when he started his Road to an Evolution Chamber and Lair, but uh, it's all pretty much happening at about the same point. We can see a quick Robo um, Fort here at the moment. He's actually building that in, interestingly, next to his gateway. So if the uh, units had gotten in there or an Overlord had sacrificed itself a little while ago, may not have thought to click on the robotics facility, but now it's a little more exposed. That's true. Hyun does have a couple of overlords on standby waiting to sacrifice themselves so they can get a little bit more vision. So he might be able to figure out what's going on here soon. Nexus did get planted at the third for tier, but it could be interesting timing as these lings are running across the map right now. Um, obviously, he's not producing any more lings right now, so he is gearing up toward probably roach speed. You can see the range upgrade, the range damage upgrade actually going now. Eight lings in production. 10, 12, oh my. <laughs> All of the lings. And looks like they're going to try and get in there. The sentry is actually able to dispatch of those zerglings very efficiently. And a little bit of energy is used, but it keeps them pretty safe. And uh, now the extra 18 lings that are popping out from Hyun actually don't look as scary without those 8 to 10 that were already sacrificed up at the front. So it's a much more manageable goal for the sentries to be able to deal with them. That's right. And it was just calculated by Hyun. He said, if I get in there and do any damage with these first 10, then or first 6, then uh, this follow-up is going to be just even more scary. But as you said, when you have a cleanup like that, 18 wings not really as formidable. And obviously, now Tyr knows that this is coming because his Zealot is getting picked off at the Zelnaga Tower. He knows where to put his forces. He at least knows where to keep an eye on things. And Infestation Pit actually coming up now, actually just finishing for Hyun Pathogen Glen starting immediately. And is this going to finish in time? It does! And of course, Overseer is one of those units that get full health again once they finish morphing. So he does make his way out of there, drops a changeling down behind and scoots on out. Um, so Tyr is sitting on a pretty defensive position now, making sure that he's keeping himself relatively well walled in. We see, though, a marked difference from Hyun. Hyun had been favoring, you know, re whether it was relatively quick Hydralisks, basically just more aggressive play. But now uh -oh. he's playing for that super late game. He's taking the entire map. He's got five bases in total coming up soon. And uh, I don't know why that changeling ran back home, but um, <laughs> it's uh, Run <laughs> home, actually changeling. being picked up on by the Overseer as well. But Hyun's just playing for a much, much longer game. Unfortunately, the head bump from the Overseer won't kill <laughs> the Observer, though. I said uh-oh earlier, just noticing the pneumatized carapace. I was expecting ventral sacs to come along as well, but not going to be the case this time. It's a little weird because the main is not kind of exposed like it was on Metropolis. It's tucked in between the uh, natural and the third, so over overlords can't really take advantage of an undefended main as easily. So not likely going to see ventral sacks, but you know, you know, it's it's still possible. Six infestors coming up now. Pathogen glands are done, so they will be able to drop fungals immediately upon their spawning. And Hyun is just not slowing down, man. He's going full speed on these bases. He's up to this will be his fifth base here very soon. He is, but he's going to have to really watch out because there's going to be a big moment where Tyr would be able to pretty much attack in without any units there and pick them off kind of piecemeal as they all spawn. Um, so if Yun gets past that point, which he's already moving up to a spire, may even see Hive Tech here soon. If he's able to get past that point, he is going to be just great. He's going to have five bases producing. He's going to have an incredible economy. But up until then, it's going to be a very difficult situation for him. Yeah, Tyr doesn't, I don't really know what kind of fighting forces he's got standing now because he hasn't really been any aggressive at all. He's got uh, scouting phoenixes, uh, hallucinated phoenixes in, uh, specifically, scouting around now, taking a look at everything. Uh, looks like an overseer is going to be picked off. Oh, there, okay, so the bulk of his forces appear to be just blink stalkers, a couple of immortals, and there are some sentries in tow as well. Another overseer just parked. Three of Gonna them. Gonna go down very, very quickly. That was three overseers there. Maybe a little bit of overkill. 80 <laughs> lings on the way right Ooh, now what? for Hyun. He had a huge bank of minerals and decided that that's the way he was going to use his money. He's going to buy time for the Spire. Yeah, so Ling Infester for now, and we'll see what sort of tech he chooses afterwards. Of course, Tier sitting with the, uh, a lot of damage dealers out there, but not a lot of AoE. Stargate is on the way, and he'll certainly need that along with the Fleet Beacon as the game progresses. Okay, so Tier is building a Stargate. He's obviously going to win. Let's go into the next game. <laughs> uh, no, but... Well... Uh, <laughs> There's a Warp Prism coming up now for Tier. We'll see how he actually manages to make use of it. That is a huge 
huge thing of lings. Yeah. I don't even know. That's a throng of lings. A flock. A, a flock of a veritable smorgasbord. Oh, this is bad, though. Oh, that's, that's a, really a lot of pinned down stalkers. They're going to have to blink out of there very nope. quickly. Fungal. They can't. And the fungal is able to, uh, yeah, he just continues to uh, recycle those, even catching a few sentries there as well. Man. Despite the very, very good uh, force fields there, keeping some forces alive, that's still a lot of stuff moving out for Hyun at the moment. That's such a clutch number of uh, both infestors and lings to be able to do what he just did and totally surround those stalkers and fungal them just to kill them completely. These stalkers warped in very risky position there, but they do manage to blink out. And uh, Hyun actually picking up some nice momentum already. 194 supply against 126, picking off or keeping that base from actually really doing anything yet. Uh, Fleet Beacon is coming up for tier, but he's so far behind now. I think unit production, yeah, he's adding on a bunch of gateways now. Unit production is going to have to be his uh, focus here for the next few minutes just to keep up with Hyun. I think even uh, because he's sitting so mineral heavy at the moment as well, just huge rounds of, uh, of uh, charge slots wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. And there we go, charge is actually on the way now. Um, so certainly you can get in there and do some pretty good damage with those. And a three base Protoss, even at this stage of the game, is still nothing to sneeze at. As, uh, add that to the list of many things that we don't sneeze at. I would but never uh, sneeze at that. But uh, Hyun trying to just kind of bully his way up the front, but force fields were pretty good from tier once again. All right, so we need to come up with new sayings instead of nothing to sneeze at or shake a stick at. Yeah. Let's say that's nothing to throw a puppy at, for All right. example. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Nothing would, to throw a puppy at. Uh, something like that. Okay, I'm good with that. that yeah. That's very cute <laughs> as well. Maybe uh, nothing to <laughs> hurl at. So, <laughs> well, anyway. Well, well, we'll come up with more as we cast the next million games. But uh, wow, that's a lot of infestors, and that's a lot of infested swarm eggs drawing fire from those cannons and from those stalkers as the infestors move into place. All these lings carving down the defenses here. All the probes having to be pulled as well. They are going to oh catch God. a nice fungal. Those are all going to go down. Yeah, bye bye. Tons and of probes being killed, and this already looks really scary for Tier. Not sure what he's going to be able to do here. Yeah, and Hyun still saved a few fungals as well. He's going to try and take down this Nexus, but the uh, it looks like he's just going to bypass it. Whatever, giving up the Nexus and just running. Wow. <laughs> now to try and save his natural, but Hyun just keeps marching forward to keep taking out very, very nice structures. And because of the full wall up at the front, he can't get up the ramp in time. There still isn't that many forces left over for Tyr. That's still a, a tight choke that he can't really get his immortals through, his stalkers. 21 infestors in production. What are you doing, Hyun? He wants to win this game with just infested Terrans and wings, it looks like. But man, that did so much damage. Even the Colossi now actually really, really low on health, but the warp in is going to manage to keep him alive. And Tyr is still alive, but on life support now. Oh, as man. So many probes are still And the Colossus got killed. Man, that's rough. Okay, but he's warping it inside of his opponent's base at the same time here. And uh, while he hasn't killed any workers quite yet, he's unshifting everything away pretty quickly. He may be able to get some tech here. We'll see if he can. Right, but I mean, anything. Oh, my God. 21 infestors, like I said, that's that's just an insane amount. And uh, these infested swarm, infested Terran are going to be able to pick off that warp prism, no problem. So no more warp ins, no escape plan for the Zealots. And Tyr realizes, I need to win because rebuilding is not an option. Spine crawler is already being placed all over for Hyun. And these fungals, I feel like, are going to be the nail in the coffin. The fungals keeping the blink stalkers in place is going to be too much for Tyr to handle. And Tyr supply is dwindling pretty quickly. He did establish himself a third base over in the top left-hand corner, but it doesn't matter. There it is, and Hyun, our three-time reigning Fight Club champion, is just one game